welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa welcomed UAE President His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan upon his arrival in Bahrain to attend the joint Bahraini Emirati Counter Terrorism uh, Exercise Jilmud 3. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the close historical brotherly relations and the advanced and high level cooperation and coordination across all areas to achieve uh, to a further prosperity for the countries and peoples. His Majesty praised the UAE's honorable position and important role in consolidating security and stability, spreading peace in the region and supporting a joint Arab action. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed expressed pleasure to visit Bahrain and meet with His Majesty the King. His Highness expressed the strength of the bonds between the two countries and their keenness on developing them across all areas. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, their Highnesses BDF Field Marshal and senior officials were also present. After that, His Majesty the King and the UAE President visited the Bahrain International Air Show 2022 in its sixth edition, hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty, His Highness and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, visited the UAE Pavilion and were briefed on the latest achievements of UAE companies and national institutions that are displaying a number of projects in the aviation sector. His Majesty, His Highness and His Royal Highness also toured pavilions of other participating countries and exchanged talks with heads and representatives of companies regarding the developments witnessed by the aviation sector and the latest innovations in the civil and military aviation technologies and the plans and programs held by international companies in this sector. His Majesty, His Highness and His Royal Highness then witnessed the air shows where 100 different aircraft participated, including military aircraft from the Royal Bahraini Air Force, the UAE Naval Air Force, the Royal Saudi Air Force, the UAE Air Force and the Pakistani Air Force for the first time, which presented efficient performances that were admired by the audience. 
His Majesty welcomed the country's guests, senior officials and participants from various civil and military airlines, exhibitors and those interested in aviation sciences and wished them a successful participation in the event, which presented an international platform in the aviation industry and an opportunity to look into the latest technologies in the field, in addition to conducting transactions, exchanging ideas and experiences. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the efforts exerted to organize the event that contributed to maintaining the distinguished level of the airshow, making it an important landmark in the aviation map on the global level. His Majesty also thanked the personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the BIAS High Organizing Committee, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as the members of the committee for their great work in organizing the event. His Majesty also expressed appreciation for the great efforts exerted by the BDF, the Royal Bahraini Air Force and all concerned parties, in addition to the professional cadres that contributed to the success of holding this global event. His Majesty expressed his admiration of the air shows that reflected the capabilities of the pilots as well as for the significant organization and a wide participation of brotherly and friendly countries, as well as pioneering international companies from the aviation and space sectors. His Majesty expressed pride in the uh, civilized and humanitarian achievements made by the Kingdom, thanks to its people who proved their capabilities in all fields who contributed to enhancing the national economy and supporting the Comprehensive uh, Development March. The UAE President praised uh, the high organizing level of the event and expressed wishes for the Kingdom to continue enhancing its status globally in hosting these high-profile events. And already we have the fly pass from Gulf Air of that magnificent and very new 787 flanked with some fighters from Bahrain itself. Gulf Air have taken deliveries of the 787 fairly recently, increasing their fleet. How about that? A beautiful smoke. Now what's unique about this team is they have four colours available. The red, the green, the white and the black. The red, the green and the black colours are of, of course, the national flag of the United Arab Emirates. The golden black scheme of the aircraft represents the sand of the desert and the oil beneath it. The sixth edition of the Bahrain International Air Show continues in its second day under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which was inaugurated yesterday by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The event marks a decade of distinction since its inception in 2010 and saw the attendance of 186 companies, more than 200 civilian and military delegations, and 100 different aircraft on static and flying display. Our presence uh, in the Bahrain International Air Show would be for reaffirming our position as a training provider in the aviation sector. And uh, GAA has always been supportive, uh, likewise, from the divisions and the government authorities and the stakeholders within Bahrain, who has been also supportive to uh, GAA in providing the training that is required for everybody in Bahrain and internationally. So uh, Gulf Aviation Academy is looking to provide what we have introduced into the market in the realms of training, like uh, 3D and virtual reality and integrated uh, reality. The air show includes an extended forum program, a larger exhibition hall, with the participation of more than 30 countries from around the world, which reflects the steady growth of the Bahrain International Air Show and its success as a platform for engaging the business development for the aviation industry. For us, um, it, you know, Bahrain Air Show is, is really special to us being a Bahraini operator, um, and we're, we're, we're very excited to be doing this again after such a long time. And for us, it's just a, a great event with so many great people attending and, 
our international colleagues getting to see who we are at, at our home turf. The air show includes discussion forums for thought leadership and knowledge sharing, additional aircraft flying displays, and continuing activities in the family area dedicated to the public. The Bahrain International Air Show is the global aviation event that comes to affirm the enhanced status of the aviation sector of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and the United Arab Emirates President and Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, attended the final stage of the joint Bahraini Emirati counter terrorism exercise, Jilmud III. With the participation of the BDF's Royal Guard, a number of weapons, the Ministry of Interior, the National Intelligence Service, with the UAE's armed forces, held in Bahrain for several days within the framework of joint historic brotherly cooperation between the two countries. His Majesty the King welcomed the UAE President and thanked him for attending the exercise. Upon His Majesty the King and the UAE President's arrival, they were received by BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander and Commander of the Exercise, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and senior invitees. At the beginning of the exercise, a memorandum of military cooperation in the fight against terrorism was signed between the two countries, signed by on a Bahraini side by Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser and the UAE's Deputy Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Engineer Isa Saif bin Ablan al mazroui his Majesty the King and the UAE President congratulated the signing of the memorandum which aims to enhance bilateral military cooperation. هذه البقعة الجميلة من مملكة البحرين الحبيبة حيث تشملون برعايتكم الكريمة حفظكم الله ختام تمرين مكافحة الإرهاب البحريني الإمارات المشترك جلمود ثلاثة سادة الكرام أيها الحفل الكريم الآن الكلمة لسيدي سعادة اللواء الركن سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة مستشار الأمن الوطني قائد الحرس الملكي مدير التمرين فليتفضل مشكورا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك المعظم القائد الأعلى للقوات المسلحة حفظكم الله ورعاكم سيدي صاحب السمو رئيس دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة الشقيقة القائد الأعلى للقوات المسلحة حفظكم الله ورعاكم أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة الأخوة العسكريين والأمنيين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إنه لشرف عظيم وكبير أن تحظى قواتنا العسكرية والأمنية البحرينية والإماراتية 
التي تقوم بتنفيذ تمرين مكافحة الإرهاب جلمود ثلاثة في هذا اليوم المبارك بحضور سيدي صاحب الجلالة الملك المعظم وأخيه سمو رئيس دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة الشقيقة وأن تشريفكم لنا في هذا الميدان بين رجالكم لهو وسام شرف وعزة لأبنائكم وأخوانكم منسوب قواتنا العسكرية والأمنية وتتويجا لمعاني الترابط واستكمالا لمسيرة الآباء والأجداد في وحدة الدم والدين والمصير الواحد على مر التاريخ سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة المعظم سيدي صاحب السمو رئيس دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة لقد تجسدت أروع الملاحم البطولية حين اختلطت دماء أبطالنا الإماراتيين والسعوديين والبحرينيين دفاعا عن الدين والأرض وعن عروبة منطقتنا ضد الجماعات الإرهابية المتطرفة المدعومة والتي لا تزال قوات التحالف العربي تقف لهم بالمرصاد وبكل حزم وقوة ولقد كان لتوجيهاتكم وحرصكم الدائم على تعزيز التعاون العسكري والأمني المستمر بين الأشقاء في كل البلدين والارتقاء في مستوى الجاهزية العسكرية على أكمل وجه وبما يعزز العمل في مواجهة المخاطر المحتملة التي تواجه منطقتنا العربية على وجه الخصوص وبما يشهده العالم من تحديات في مواجهة الإرهاب على وجه العموم على ضوء ذلك تم وضع الخطط لتمرين مكافحة الإرهاب البحرينية الإماراتية المشترك جلمود ثلاثة في كيفية مجابهة واقع وتحديات الإرهاب وطرق مكافحته ضمن أعلى المعايير وعلى كافة المستويات الاستراتيجية والعملياتية والتعبوية حيث يعتبر هذا التمرين الأول على المستوى الوطني تشارك فيه جميع القوات العسكرية والأمنية والإدارات المعنية كل في كل البلدين وبما يوضح التدابير المتخذة ويترجم الجهود كما أن هذا التمرين يصب في مصلحة الأمن والاستقرار والسلام في منطقتنا ويعزز الخطط في مواجهة المخاطر التي تواجه دولتنا وليكون رادعا لكل من تسول له نفسه بالمساس بأمن دولتنا وسوف نكون لهم السد المنيع ونضربهم بكل عزم وحزم ونقدم دماءنا وأرواحنا فداء في سبيل رفعة وعزة أمن بلدنا وندعو الله جلت قدرته بأن يحفظكم ويديم ملككم وأن تبقى بلداننا واحة للأمن والأمان ومنارة للسلم والتسامح والاستقرار وأن لا تجد هذه الجماعات الإرهابية موطئ قدما لها على أراضينا لو تنشد التاريخ قال محمد ثبت على صدر الزمن بنيانه يكفيه فخر انه سمي محمد شفيعنا يوم الحشر واكوانه قلته ونا من ديره الخليفي حمد فخر شعبه وعز وطانه من قوم حنالك وشد حزامك رجليه وخياله وهجانه افعالنا ما فيها حد يجهلها لا من قيل للتاريخ من فرسانة لا من حربنا عزتي لعدانا من قبل عهد الجيش والترسانة ولا من زبنا اللي ما عنده مزبن حنا عجب عينه وحن مزبانة تاريخ والتاريخ ما يجهلكم ما ينسى ولا تهد أركانة انتوا لنا مثل الفشق في المحزم لا ثار في يوم الوغى دخانة وحنا لكم على مدار الساعة اخوانكم لا خانة والخوانة حنا لكم وانتوا لنا من مبطي والكل منا شاهده جدانة هذه علومي كلها وعفاكم وعلم الوفا ما تنطفي نيرانه مدحتكم ونابكم متباهي 
والشعر فيكم تفتخر قيفانا واللي بيمدح صام لينا الوقفة صح بدنا قبل صح لسانه وسلامتكم تم رصد اسم المشتبه به واحد على رحلة رقم 333 تم رصد الهدف أثناء خروجه من خرطوم الطائرة جاري متابعته المشتبه به في قاعة السلام الأمتعة من سراب ثمانية إلى غرفة العمليات الهدف متحرك خارج الفندق متوجه إلى سيارة دوج اللون كحلي المشتبه واحد والمشتبه اثنين متحاكين من الكافي شوب من غرفة العمليات إلى جميع الدوريات سيارة المشتبه بهم بتواجدة في حي السفارات السلام المشتبه به وجارم تابعته من سراب ثلاثة إلى سراب سابع يرجع السلام الهدف سراب سابع السلام الهدف وجارم متابعته من سراب أربعة إلى غرفة العمليات المشتبه به رقم واحد دخل الفندق المشتبه به اثنين غادر الموقع من غرفة العمليات إلى سراب أربعة تبين أن الهدف مطلوب أمنيا يجب متابعته والقبض عليه فريق القبض تجاه الهدف من دوريات العمليات وشجاع تم استلام الهدف المشتبه به لا يستجيب للوقوف تعامل معاه تم القبض على المشتبه رقم اثنين وسيتم اتخاذ الاجراءات اللازمة التحقيقات الاولية كشفت وجود صور لحي السفارات من جهاز مخابرة البحرين الى جهاز الاستخبارات الوطني في دولة الامارات سوف نرسل لكم التقرير الاستخباري رقم اثنين والذي يفيد بوجود نية عمل عدائي على مصالحكم في المنطقة استلمت وننتظر منكم رئيسية الى فجر وردات اخبارية من جهاز المخابرات الوطني تفيد بانه يوجد تهديد على السفارة عزز الحراسة حسب الاجراءات المتبعة في هذه الحالات لقد تقرر ارسال قواتنا لمقاومة الارهاب الى مملكة البحرين في مهمة الاستعادة الخارجية وتنفيذ الخطة رقم سبعة على جميع قوات الاستعادة الخارجية التأهب للحركة بحمد الله وصول قوات الواجب الإماراتية إلى مملكة البحرين وجاري التأهب لأي عمل طارئ السفارة للرئيسية السفارة للرئيسية هجوم مسلح على السفارة هجوم مسلح على السفارة مركز الطوارئ ألو الشرطة في مسلحين داشين علينا أسمع أطلق نار
الرئيسية إلى جميع الدوريات الأمنية النجدة صقر رعد فيصل الإسعاف الوطني وردنا بلاغ يؤكد وجود عمل إرهابي بداخل السفارة وعليه يتم تأمين وتضويق الموقع بمسافة آمنة مصقر للرئيسية فريق اقتحام والتدخل السريع باتجاه الموقع من تدخل خامس الى الرئيسية تم نشر قناصين في موقعهم جاري التفاوض مع الارهابيين وكانت مطالبهم سحب دعوة الاتهام من مجلس الامن وتوفير وسيلة نقل الى المطار وطائرة انحرس واحد الى جميع القوات سأتحرك مع مجموعة المقدمة باتجاهكم من حرس اثنين الى حرس واحد قواتنا تستعد للحركة الى موقع الحدث يتم الان تحرك القوات الاماراتية من قاعدة عيسى الجوية الى موقع الحدث الارهابي من تدخل اربعة الى تدخل اثنين تم الان تطويق جميع مداخل الحي الدبلوماسي بالكامل العمليات الخاصة التابعة لوزارة الداخلية وقوة الاستجابة الخارجية الإماراتية بالتواجد وتأمين مبنى المطار ثالثا موجة الاقتحام الثالثة قيام وحدة العمليات الخاصة التابعة لوزارة الداخلية بتطهير مدرسة خولة الثانوية للبنات والأنظار المجاورة لها مرحلة التعافي بعد السيطرة على المباني بالكامل من قبل فرق الاقتحام سوف يعطى امر من قبلي بتسليم الرهان والارهابيين الى فرق الفرز امام مبنى السفاره. بعد تفتيش الرهان والارهابيين ومن ثم عزلهم سيتم انسحاب فرق الاقتحام من الموقع بالكامل وتسليمه الى الجهات المختصه في وزاره الداخليه لتباشر عملها من خلال الاجراءات القانونيه للنيابه العسكريه والتعاون مع الادله الجنائيه. عمليه الاخلاء الطبي الميداني وتنفيذها وتنفذها الكتيبة الطبية والإسعاف الوطني وفريق الجراحة الأمامي الإماراتي العمل عنده في حالة السماح للرهابيين باستخدام وسائل المواصلات تقوم وحدة العمليات الخاصة التابعة لوزارة الداخلية وقوة الاستجابة الخارجية الإماراتية بالتعامل مع الموقف مواجهة سيارة مفخخة عجل السيارة المفخخة وتركها لفريق المتفجرات المختص للتعامل معها موجة قوارب مفخخة مسيرة القيام بتدميرها من قبل الطائرة العمودية المقاتلة أي سؤال يا رجال يعطيكم العافية وموفقين إن شاء الله His Majesty the King expressed thanks to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his outstanding management of the exercise and for his efforts to develop the combat competencies of the Royal Guard, expressing appreciation to the BDF members and the efforts of all participating bodies that ensured the success of the exercise. His Majesty expressed pleasure to welcome the UAE Armed Forces in Bahrain and their participation in the exercise based on the joint close historical relations and military action in defending both countries, which reflects the historical cohesion between the two countries in all situations and evidence of the solidarity of their positions and interdependence to confront terrorism in all its forms and amid humanitarian relief. His Majesty added that the challenges facing the region today require unified ranks and readiness. The UAE President expressed pleasure in attending the exercise, which demonstrated the skill and efficiency of the participants and the high training they provided 
praying to Allah the Almighty to protect Bahrain and the UAE and their brotherly people, wishing them progress and prosperity. The participants took commemorative pictures with His Majesty the King and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed on the occasion.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa welcomed UAE President His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan upon his arrival in Bahrain to attend the joint Bahraini Emirati counter terrorism exercise Jilmud 3 and attend the BIAS 2022, which reflects the strength of the bilateral relations. More in this report. The Bahraini-Emirati relations received the support of the leaderships of the two brotherly countries in all fields, as His Majesty the King and the President of the United Arab Emirates are keen to strengthen and advance bilateral relations in the interests of the two countries and their brotherly people. The leaderships of the two brotherly countries are keen to strengthen joint military action, which enhances defense capabilities in combating terrorism in all its forms, in terms of cooperation and joint coordination relations between the Bahrain Defense Force and the UAE Armed Forces at all levels. An MOU was recently signed between the Bahrain Defense Force and the UAE's Ministry of Defense related to cooperation in the field of training and conducting joint exercises. The Kingdom of Bahrain is witnessing the conclusion of the joint Bahraini-Emirati exercise to combat terrorism, Jilmud III, with the participation of forces from Bahrain's Royal Guard, a number of weapons and units of the Bahrain Defense Force, the Ministry of Interior, the National Intelligence Service, and the UAE's Presidential Guard and Armed Forces, which affirms the two countries' continued keenness to raise the level of readiness in the fight against terrorism. And to speak more about the progress of the joint Bahraini Emirati counterterrorism exercise, Jilmud 3, we have with us on the phone security expert in Scotland Yard, United Kingdom, Dr. Mark Adrian. Hello, Dr. Mark. Uh, tell us more about the goals of the Jilmud 3 exercise and what it aims to achieve. Yes, good evening, and um, thank you for having me on. I think it's an extremely important um, exercise and um, this type of collaboration is um, critical to fighting terrorism across those international boundaries. And um, I, I've watched some of the footage this evening as well and consider it a, a great collaboration between the UAE and Bahrain. And um, sharing that intelligence and um, training is key to combating uh, terrorism internationally. And that was security expert in Scotland Yard, United Kingdom, Dr. Mark Adrian. Thank you for joining us. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to bid farewell to the United Arab Emirates President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, following his visit to Bahrain, in which he attended the joint Bahraini Emirati counter terrorism exercise, Jilmud 3, and visited the Bahrain International Air Show. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, their Highnesses, the BDF Commander in Chief, and a number of officials were also present. The personal representative of His Majesty the King, BIAS High Organizing Committee Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, toured a number of companies taking part in BIAS 2022. His Highness was briefed on the latest military and civil aircraft, air navigation devices and new advanced systems in the world of aviation. He also visited a number of presentation offices, companies and support firms in the exhibition, which will continue until November 11th. 
He extended his thanks and gratitude to all sponsors and organizers, commending all dedicated efforts to harness all capabilities in order to adhere to the opening date and provide assistance to the participants, guests, delegations and visitors. His Highness praised Bahrain's development strides in all fields, including the establishment of international exhibitions, especially the aviation industry, research, technology and space, which contribute to enhancing the kingdom's standing and supporting national economic growth. Uh, the minister strongly believes uh, in cooperation and collaboration with the stakeholder, and we work closely with them uh, to align their plan with the strategic vision of uh, Bahrain uh, for that sector, uh, for example, the, um, the airport operator uh, and the airlines uh, are working on uh, promoting the cargo and the logistics services. On that respect, the ministry works very closely with them in two parts. One, on building the, the cargo village and trying to attract uh, more airlines to operate out of that cargo village and enhancing the cargo capacity. We work also on the seaport airport uh, process or program. Uh, that program by itself is a unique which will also provide a cost effective and a faster service to the industry. Uh, we work also with the national carriers and the home base uh, carriers so that they can have a better connectivity and offer the customer better options by uh, increasing their networks and by providing them with the air service agreement that will facilitate the ability for them to, to enhance and grow their, uh, their business. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Mohammed bin Thamar al kabi affirmed that Bahrain has taken a lead in the aviation industry and made remarkable progress in the field, and stressed the importance of enhancing cooperation with stakeholders. Around the skies. Low high alpha pass, right to left, right back, high angle. Today is the second day for the 2022 Bahrain International Air Show, and participation has been very high with a high attendance of visitors and business partners in the region and abroad. More than 180 companies, 100 delegations, and around 100 aircraft are taking part in the air show's sixth edition. The sixth Bahrain International Air Show celebrates a decade of distinction with an exciting program of new features, industry leading content, and a first class networking experience with key regional decision makers. Organized by Bahrain's Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications and the Royal Bahraini Air Force in association with Farambor International BIAS has been designed to reflect aerospace and defense industry demands and will harness global expertise to provide crucial thought leadership. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa headed Bahrain's delegation participating in the 39th meeting of Gulf Interior Ministers in Riyadh. The Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the Saudi Minister of Interior and Chairman of the current session, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Saud bin Nayef Al Saud, for organizing the meeting. He highlighted the importance of exchanging ex expertise between GCC countries. He noted that the current regional and international circumstances require solidarity and qualitative action to enhance security cooperation among GCC states. He added that strengthening the common approach to enhance security, stability and public safety is a strategic imperative that requires maintaining security to face challenges. The meeting reviewed security topics on the agenda that contribute to reinforcing joint Gulf security cooperation. The ministers reviewed the recommendations of GCC Interior Ministries under secretaries related to mechanisms to link traffic fines in addition to the latest of the Interior Ministries' security networks. 
The annual report of Forensic Information Center to fight illicit uh, drugs and the unified strategy to tackle the effects of addictions. They also discussed reports on the joint tactical exercise of Gulf Security Authorities, Arabian Gulf Security 3, organized by the Saudi Interior Ministry, and the uh, preparations for the upcoming exercise, Arabian Gulf Security 4. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Zayani, praised the official talks that took place between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, describing it as taking place in an intimate, friendly, and fraternal atmosphere that dealt with the course of the close historical fraternal relations and ways to advance bilateral cooperation to more comprehensive levels for the benefit of the two brotherly countries and people. The minister said that His Majesty the King and the UAE President discussed developments in the political and security situations in the region, regional and international developments and issues of common interest, and stressed the need for the international community to assume its historical responsibilities to end global wars and conflicts, restore global security, peace and stability, and devote international efforts to support the process of development for the benefit of all. He added that they discussed the latest developments in the uh, conflict in uh, Ukraine, the repercussions of the war and the political security, economic and humanitarian impacts on Europe, the world and international peace and security. He noted a uh, preferred to His Majesty the King's call for the necessity to reach a peaceful political solution to end the war in Ukraine through direct negotiations without uh, preconditions, which received the support of the UAE President during his participation in COP27 held in Egypt. Azayani said that His Majesty the King and the UAE President also affirmed the need for Russia and Ukraine to enter into direct and serious peace negotiations without preconditions in order to reach a peaceful settlement to stop the war between them and spare bloodshed in a manner that preserves security, stability and peace in the European continent and contributes to sparing world countries the repercussions of the war and its danger effects on food security and the rise in the prices of of basic commodities and global energy supplies. Expressing the readiness uh, to coordinate with the two parties on this topic and to determine the date and place of direct negotiations to end this conflict. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs, in cooperation with the executive management of the parliamentary and municipal elections, organized a visit for ambassadors of brotherly and friendly countries and representatives of embassies accredited to Bahrain to ballot and counting committee at Ghazi Al Qusaybi Secondary Girls School. During the visit, the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Chairman of the Supreme Committee for General Supervision of Election Safety, Nawaf bin Mohammed Al Maouda, met with the ambassadors and diplomatic corps representatives in the presence of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Under Secretary for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Chairman of the Legislative and Legal Opinion Commission, Executive Director of the Parliamentary and Municipal Elections 2022, Councillor Nawaf Abdullah. The executive management of the parliamentary and municipal elections gave a presentation on the organizational process of elections and voting procedures. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning affirmed the great interest achieved by the Housing Finance Exhibition, which concluded today and comes in partnership with the developers, real estate companies and local banks. The exhibition offered more than 5,000 properties provided by companies at special prices for visitors to the exhibition. The Minister of Housing, Amna al indicated that the exhibition witnessed a great demand from citizens for various financing services, especially El Misian scheme proposed by the Housing Bank. 
Tourism Minister Fatma Sarifi participated in a session at the World Travel Market London and affirmed that the spending of the tourism sector in Bahrain during the first nine months of 2022 exceeded the goals of the sector by 7%. She added that the tourism sector in Bahrain has recovered nearly 60% of pre-pandemic levels globally, while Bahrain achieved more than 80%, which confirms the commitment of the tourism sector strategy within the economic recovery plan. President of Laos, Tong Lon Sisult, received Ambassador Mona Abbas Mahmoud Rali, who presented her credentials to Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of Bahrain to the Lao People's Democratic Republic, residing in Bangkok. The President wished the Ambassador success in performing her diplomatic duties. For her part, the Ambassador affirmed her keenness to serve in developing relations between the two countries at all levels. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the local qualifying endurance races were launched, organized by Brief. Bahrain Endurance Village will hold an 80-kilometer local qualifying race, a 40-kilometer local qualifying race, in addition to a veterinary examination for the horses participating in the 140-kilometer, 120-kilometer and 100-kilometer international races, which will be held on Saturday. Brief conducted a veterinary examination for the horses participating in the local qualifying races for a distance of 80 km and 40 km, which witnessed a large participation of the riders, who also participated in the weighing process and receiving the assigned numbers, in addition to numbering the horses.